Alright, so now we look into another important concepts in uh, algebra with is sets and interval. So, first we look into sets. What is sets and how to define sets? So, we take ex example of two sets here. We have set S and set T. Set S contains the elements A, B, and C where set T contains elements B, D, and H. Alright. So, this capital S here, capital S, denotes the set and the, the letter, small capital, uh, the small letter A, B, and C denotes the elements of the set. So, usually for the set, for sets, we, denote, we use capital letters and then for elements, we use the small letters. Alright. So now, to say that the certain element is in a certain set, for example, A is in a set, A, A, element A is in set S, we use this symbol, A is in, is an element of S, so we use this element, this symbol here, to denote that A is an element of set S. To to denote an element that is not from the set, from a certain set, for example, H is not an element of set S. We use the symbol here, the same symbol as uh, the, the same symbol as before, but we add the backslash uh, the slash there. So H is not in, is not an element of S. We write it like this. And then sometimes we may deal with uh, we come we come across with a set that does not contain any element a set that does not, does not contain any element we call such set as empty set empty set where it means that the set does not contain any element so for this kind of set we use the symbol circle with a slash like this or sometimes you also use the curly bracket here but it doesn't contain anything to, 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 to denote that it is an empty set. One important thing is to know that something is a set. Usually when we write a set, we use this symbol curly bracket. So when you see such kind of uh, brackets, curly bracket, means that you come, ac we come across with a set. We come across with a set. Whether the curly bracket contains elements or does not contain any elements, you means that you come across with a set. All right. So now let's talk about union and intersection. Union is a uh, I think union to to explain the union between two sets. Let's say we say that uh, S un, union with T. S union with T. So we can we can say that union means uh, un, S union T means that the set of S union T is consists of all elements that are in the set S and in set T. So because we have here set S contains A, B, and C, where where I mean while set T contains B, D, and H, S union T means the union contains all set in both uh, all elements in both sets. All right, so we can we can write the the answer by listing all the elements in both sets, all elements in both sets. But note that set S and set T share a same element that is B. So if a set uh, if two sets share a same element, we just not write the, the element the, that element twice. It is sufficient for us to write it only once, only once. For example, this B right. So S union T, we only write it as curly bracket A, B. Okay, write it once, and then C, D, and H. We doesn't write B twice in this set. And then another another important set, another important relation is intersection. Let's say we have S intersect we intersect with T. S intersect with T. S intersect with T, the intersection of S and T means that 
this intersection only consists of element that is that is exists in both S in both set S and set T. Or in other words, we list the element that that are share between both be, between both sets. For example, S and T. For example, S and T. We have we have the we have the both 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 set share the same element that is B. So when we say the intersection of S and T means that the intersection only the set of a, that intersection only consists of element B. So so that is uh, set and important relations that related to sets. Another important concept of uh, when we talk about algebra is inequalities and interval alright I think for inequalities uh, you already learned it in the school so I don't want to discuss it discuss it deeply but I think we, we should discuss intervals there are basically there are many kinds but I can I can sum summarize it in three main kind of intervals the first interval is let's say we have x interval and then the interval con the interval contains the interval contains values between a and b but does not contain the value a and b so we write it we in the term of inequalities we write it as x is greater than a but less than b x is greater than a but less than b or we can write it simpler as open bracket of a and b open bracket of a and b to graph such a, such interval we use the open circle here the open circle between a and b so when you see this kind of this kind of this kind of sketch for interval it means that the interval is between a and b but does not include the values a and b all right so for this kind of interval we use open bracket here open bracket another interval another kind of interval is we have the interval from a and b and that interval includes the values a and b means that the interval starts from a and included a included a including a and then the interval ends with b and it, the, the interval also includes the value b so we can write it as in in the inequalities form as x is greater than is greater than a or equal uh, a, a x is greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b we use this kind of symbol or we can use the, the, the square bracket here, the square bracket, to denote that it, it is a closed a close interval. To sketch the interval on the real line, on the real number line, we use, now we use the closed the close circle to denote it is a closed interval. And then sometimes we came across with this kind of mix mixed interval which we, we, we said we can say that this mixed interval for 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 example uh, interval from a and b but it includes only value v only value b and not value a so for this kind of interval in the form of inequality we can write it as x is great as is greater than a but less than or equal to b or equal to b means that the interval excludes the value a and includes the value b in terms of interval we can use for x for excluding excluding value a we can use the op, the open bracket here and then including b means we can use the square bracket here and then when we sketch the interval on the real number line we can use from A, we can use the open, open circle to denote that it doesn't include the value A in the interval. And then the interval ends with B. And then for B, we use the, the, close, in, the close circle to denote that it is a, it, the, the interval includes the value B. All right. 
So to understand this kind of interval, we must answer, we must solve set, uh, examples. So let's say we have this example. Simplify the following the, the following relation and graph the solution set. The solution set. So let's say we have, we now have the first example. The interval between negative three and two intersects with intersect with negative interval of negative one and five. Open interval of negative one and five. So first first thing first, we must uh, we must sketch the interval on the real number line. So let let us start with the first interval here from negative 3 and 2 and it is an open circle so when open op, op, open circle open interval so we must use open circles here open circles here negative 3 and 2 so open circles too and then we we shed the region be, below the line here below the interval Alright, and then the second interval. Second interval, I think we can use blue one here. So, ne second interval from negative 1 and 5, and it is an open, in open interval. So, we must use from negative 1, open circle, open circle 5. Alright, and then we sketch the... We, we, we shed the region below the interval. Alright, now after we shed, after, after we sketch the, 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 the intervals on the real number line, and then we, we look at the relation between two sets. So for A, now we have the intersection symbol. For intersection symbol, we can, when we say intersection, means we see that both interval. What does this interval share? Have the same in Have the same the same thing in common. So to answer this kind of relation for intersection, we must see where the two regions, two shaded regions overlap. Two shaded regions overlap. So we can see that the the these intervals, these intervals. Overlap between negative one and two. Negative one and two. So our answer will be from negative one to two. And then we must ask ourselves a que our, ourselves questions. Is the answer is the is the answer open interval or closed interval? To answer that, we must see at negative one and two what kind of circle we use. So at negative one, we use open circle so we use the open bracket here from one sorry and then at the value two we can see that we also use the open inter uh, the open circle so it means also we at the end of the interval you we also use the open bracket so the answer for a is the intersection between the interval open interval negative three to two and open interval from negative one to five is open interval from negative 1 to 2 alright we move to the second example where now we have mix uh, mix interval here interval from 3 to 7 union with uh, interval from 5 and 9 alright so again first we look at the intervals and we sketch the region Alright, so for the first negative uh, from three to from three to seven, okay, from three, it is open bracket. So from from three, we use the open circle, and then at seven, it is the it is the square bracket. So at seven, we use close bracket, uh, close circle. So we shed the region here. And then we look at the second interval from 5 to 9. And then at 5, it uses the closed bracket, the square bracket. So at 5, we must draw closed circle. And then at 9, it is an open bracket. So we draw open circle here. And then we shade the 
region of the interval. Alright, so now the relation between two interval is union, the union symbol. So for union symbol, it means that the, the union of two interval means uh, this union contains all interval from both interval, all values from both interval. So, so not only we look at the shaded region, the, the overlap, overlap of the region, but also the region that doesn't overlap between two interval. So we also include that one for for un, for the for union relation. So our answer is, we can see that it include it start from three, and then it ends with for at, at nine. Again, we we ask ourselves a question: It is open interval or closed interval? So we look at the value three and nine. What kind of circle we use? So at at the value three, we use the open circle. So at three also we we draw open bracket. And then at nine we also draw uh, the open circle. So we draw we close with open circle uh, open bracket. So our answer is the union between intervals three seven and five nine is the interval between three and nine, but exclude excludes the value of the values three and nine. So this is our answer for B. All right, last uh, last example. We have intervals from negative infinity to seven and intersects with uh, the intersection of interval neg from negative infinity to seven with intervals from seven to positive infinity. Again, we draw the same step. We draw the intervals. We start with negative infinity to seven. Okay, all right. I think we should start. For this one, we start with 7. Since it is an open bracket, we draw the open circle. And then it form infinity, so we draw like this. To denote that this interval goes into the negative infinity. And then the second interval, from 7 to infinity also, since it is an open circle, a open interval so we at 7 we, we draw again open circle open circle and then we extend to the beyond at the, at the, right, at the, at the right side at the right, right side of the line uh, real, num real number line alright so then we, we see the relation between two intervals we can see the intersection intersection so we can see that try to for intersection try to see which uh, which region overlaps between two interval but unfortunately unfortunately this this interval does not overlap at any region this region does not overlap between any region and what make it worse we use it, since it is an open open interval, both are open interval, both are open interval. So this seven, all, although from the line real, real number line, it does it does look in, included seven. It does not it overlap for at seven. But please take note that we have here open circles. So the answer for this example is empty set. There is no, there is no interval that overlaps between that intersects between these two intervals. So this is our answer.